Shalom Israel. I'm Brother Ithan. And today's topic is the testimony is sure. Um, I'm going to have to start off this scripture with a warning. To those of you out there who are new in this faith or have been in it for a while with this scripture here. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 2. I'll start from verse 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. Because a lot of brothers that have been in this truth for a long time, they do not believe in the testimony of Christ. They do not believe in what the Bible says. So they run to other books. Okay? To try to seek understanding. Which you must not do. We must stick to the the book of our answer. This, this is our doc, this is our our sword here. This is our weapon. When you run to other books, you lose. You lose. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 tells you that. Isaiah 34 tells you the same thing. And we are to avoid other books. But there's lights who but all men have not faith. That they, they, they're so afraid the Bible's not enough that they need to run to other books. Once again, today's topic is the testimony is sure. Um, let's start with Matthew. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Because this is in response to the name video. A lot of Israelites got mad at me because of the fact that I made it clear that we can call the names in the Bible. But they're saying you must call him by his name. Nigga, you the devil, you two thirds. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm a devil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not, not everyone that says to me, Yahshua, Yahshua, Ashaya, Ashaya, or Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Shai. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. What is the will of the Father that's in heaven? Psalms 40, verse 8. What's the will of the Father? I delight to do that. Psalms 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So in order for you to delight to do his will, his law must be in your mind. Back to Matthew. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, which is keep the commandments, the law. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have you not prophesied in thy name? Because many Israelites call him by a name they believe to be his name. They call him Yahshua. They call him Yahawashai. They call him Ashaya. They call him, uh, 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 let's see, uh, the Messiah. They call him many names. Okay? So it says here, Many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have you not prophesied in thy name? Have you not taught in thy name? Have you not taught in the name of Yahawashai or Yahshua? And in thy name have cast out devils because our people have many demons on them. And, and, and many demons, and the demon that we have on us is, is the demon of slavery. A lot of us were raised in the mindset of believing that we're all Afro African Americans and Hispanics. Once we learned who we were, that demon was removed. That demon of, under, of, 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 of ignorance was removed. So many Israelites have cast out demons. Okay? Or devils. And in thy name, done many wonderful works. Many Israelites traveled to different boroughs, got multiple videos on YouTube, traveled the world, different schools throughout the, throughout the city. Mon wonderful works you performed. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So all you brothers out there, all you named Negroes with Bibles out there, Ah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahshua, Yahweh, all you with the name you can call them whatever you want to call them. 
by the name that you believe to be his name based on your Hebrew research. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you're not following the will of the Father, which is the law, you're dead anyway. You're still dead. Alright? So, let's go to the book of John 9.31. So all you out there who want to complain about, oh, you got to call him Yahweh, you got to call him your, um, Yahweh. Okay, you ain't doing the will of the Father, you devil goddess. John 9.31. Now we know that the, that God heareth not sinners, meaning lawbreakers. But if any man be a worshipper of God and doeth his will, Psalms 40 verse 8, him he heareth. The most high hears the prayers of those who do the, who do his will. So how does the most high hear, hear you? Let's read Matthew 6. Matthew 6 mm, verse I start from verse 8 Be not ye therefore like unto them for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him or before he hears you After this manner therefore pray ye Our Father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name did Christ say, our Yahweh, our Yahweh, our Jah, our Yah? No, he said, our Father. Why did Christ put that there? Because Christ understood that there was going to come a time where Negroes are going to make this a battle. That's why Christ said, pray our Father. So that way we're all, we're all on one accord. That was the whole purpose of, my, of, of the name video. So that we all understand, listen, if you come across someone who calls him Yahweh, and he'll know he's Israel, preach to him that he's Israel. Arguing back and forth about then there's no vowels in Hebrew, there are vowels in Hebrew, it's Yahweh, no it's Yahweh Yahweh. That's not that's that's not edifying. Christ said, Pray our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So the most high hears you and you say, Our Father. So what do you mean I can't call him Heavenly Father? Alright, let's go to um Verse 9, again, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. So once again, there go that word again, the will, the will, the will. You ain't doing that, you ain't seeing no kingdom. Name lovers. So now let's go to um, Exodus 2. Since brother's talking about you can't call him certain names in the Bible, the names in the Bible are pagan. A lot of that going on now because brothers want you to call him the name that they learned. I learned his name as Yahweh. So you call him what I know. Whatever I know his name to be, that's what you call him, nigga. Or you the two thirds. Your head gonna roll. Simple as hell. Exodus 2 21. And Moses was content to dwell with the man. And he gave Moses, Sephora, his daughter. It's talking about Jethro. And she bare him a son. And he called his name Gershom. For he said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. Moses named his son Gershom, which means stranger. Alright? It means stranger. So the, the Bible is giving you the definition of what the word Gershom means. It means name Gershom. Gershom means stranger. Why? Because Moses was a stranger in the land, in the land, in, in, in a strange land. All right. So the Bible gives definitions of words. Brothers are saying the Bible gives pagan definitions. Exodus fifteen, fifteen twenty three. And when they came to Mada, they could not drink of the waters of Mada. For they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara. The water was bitter. So the place was called Mara. The word Mara means bitter. So the Bible is once again giving you a definition of a word. According to some are pagan. Okay. Genesis 29. 
35. And she conceived again and bare a son. And she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Therefore she called his name Judah and left bearing. So Judah means praise or God's praise or praise of God. Therefore will I praise the Lord. So she named him Judah. The Bible once again gives you the definition of the name. 